once again our greetings to you, our dear listeners and viewers. This is your servant, Nmovido Paul. I am the leader of a prayer camp at Bovi Zion in the district of Ngucha, specifically in Togo. Let me recall to our dear listeners and viewers all over the world that this week we are looking at the topic, the tongue. Let me stress the fathers. The tongue is a precious body organ. If you read from the book of James, chapter 3, verse 9 through 12, we'll learn lessons from James about the tongue. With the tongue, we praise the Lord and Father. And with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. You see, the lessons we can learn from James here is that we can use our tongue to bless and use the same tongue to curse. And this is the analogy that the tongue can be compared to a spring. And if the tongue is a spring, can fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Or will the fig tree bear grape or grape vine bear a fig? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. So here, the tongue is compared to a spring. And also, we have the analogy of a tree you cannot plant a mango tree that will bear lemons these examples are clear the same spring cannot produce fresh water and salt water so yeah is comparing us as human beings to the tree and if you're talking about the tongue here it is terrible what the tongue can do so let's make a point to do good to one another and if you decide to do good your tongue will say words of blessings in the book of Genesis we can say that there is the descendant Descendants of uh, Ham, the father of Canaan, who had been cursed because he saw the nakedness of his father and did not cover his nakedness. His father cursed him and said, The lowest of slaves will he be for his brothers today. The land of Canaan is promised and given to Israel the curse of the father of Ham came to be fulfilled yes we need to be mindful of what we say in critical times for our own blessings the blessings of our spouses our children and our descendants if you think about what happens sometimes you need to be mindful and careful of how you use your tongue because 
you are a spring of sweet water so salt water cannot come out of you though the Bible can transform anything but here it is about what you sow in if you sow what is good you reap what is good thank you for being obedient and thank you for following us see you very soon